everybody and welcome back to another episode of Anno 1800 our epic 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 let's play expert campaign here it's it, it's just yeah it's a whole ordeal i just want to start off by saying uh, i do apologize there was some issues with regards to the military attention mod so i unfortunately had to take it off i was very scared because the computer was actually doing a lot of very weird things in the background and i essentially could not play anno for some reason i I downloaded it through the um, mod gallery finder thing in game, which is probably why the issue occurred. But besides the point, I've moved that over to the future modded playthrough. So we will be seeing the military attention mod on this channel in the future. I just wanted to throw that out there. So Xerxalon does unfortunately look very barren, but the show must go on that's the old saying we always going to keep to that we're never going to let anything stop us here at the time of this recording we are 994 subscribers thank you all so very much an absolutely incredible experience and now we need to work once more on Xerxalon which as you can clearly see is barren that's right so like I mentioned, it did kind of go awry. Essentially, the game was destabilizing. Everything was actually starting to turn blue little by little. So I'm blaming the editor, okay? The editor was the first person of whom was blue. And then it, you know, transpired into a whole different thing. But what I was thinking of in, you know, my crazy brain activating from time to time, I did rebuild the walls. But what I'm really considering right now is making Xerxalon a full fortress city, Okay. Because this is channel-wise, our RP, if you guys aren't really into the RP, you can obviously skip this and just focus on the build itself. It is our chief military installation in the simulation. So, we need to get it up and running. And what I would like to do is actually have walls and whatnot around the actual settlement itself. Like, we'll have openings over here for, like, the oil fields and whatnot. But for the most part... Our settlement is going to be behind walls because this is where our army is essentially going to be originating from okay and what i'm going to actually do here eventually is build up a naval docklands of sorts over in the corner over here and we're going to also see the actual birthplace of the future imperium navy come from Xerxalon in time. The optimization that's going into this is actually now taking the RP out of the conversation. I just don't really want to have a whole bunch of these guys on Rantium anymore. And I feel like if we were to just have them for the most part come from Xerxalon with regards to the artisan workforce and the workers, it would be fantastic, you know? As much as I do like both of the tiers, don't get me wrong, it's more so like an operational standpoint. I would rather just bring in the stuff that those later guys actually require rather than cater to every single one of them. Which sucks to say, but it's unfortunately the truth. That's When you reach a certain point in the campaigns that you play, normally this happens. You can't like always have a settlement that has every single tier on there. It's difficult and it's possible, I've done it before. Is it the right call? Not really. At least in my opinion. So we're going to be focusing a lot on Xerxalon for the next couple of episodes. And as you can clearly see here, we do have some oil fields and that's fantastic. We, re we did actually put down the stuff necessary for the oil fields last episode that we were here. But uh, we didn't fully build them and thankfully we didn't do so. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a whole bunch of towers here first. And we are going to start working on the settlement itself relatively soon. I don't like the position of this tower. Can we change that? I also am really digging this whole like idea over here with the gates. I'm going to replicate this. So I'm just going to copy this, right? And I'm going to put this thing down like right here, somewhere around here. It needs to be somewhat centered. Let's put this right here. Okay, so we are obviously losing out on these. I don't know how why the how center one actually stayed put, but you know, it is what it is. Let's get rid of these and then go over to here and then grab a large archway, put that down there, that down over there. Why did it actually get rid of one of my banners? 
Please tell me I actually put enough banners over here. Did I mess up? <gasps> I made the mistake. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have our exterior walls currently over on this side. We are going to have to build some over here, and then we're going to build some over here. But I don't want to focus a majority of the episode on just building the walls. I also want to start working on the actual settlement itself. There is also a gate over here. I figured it would be a nice uh, additional way of getting into Zarek Salon itself. And from here, it's actually going to branch off into two different ways and go across this little river. So we'll have this one be like right over here. We'll take this as far as it'll go, which is like over to here. And I'm hoping this is going to work. Nice, it does. Perfect. So we have two ways of getting across to this side of Zarexalon from this gate. And unfortunately, I cannot put down a police station over here, I don't think. Uh, no, it's just barely there. I should have actually thought about that first. Maybe if I were to... Mm -hmm. I guess I can always, if I really choose to do so, I can put police stations like in the front. But it's not that big of a deal right now. Uh, actually, you know what? Interesting opportunity to utilize some of this cobblestone and put it over here and over here. I'm going to try to do the same over here. There's a little spot. Put that down right over there. Oh, I see what happened here. Okay. Oh, it completely messed up. Oh, okay, that's why. That that explains it. Okay, hold on. I can fix this. Let's get that done over there. And then this one. That one's already set. So yeah, what we would need to do is... Actually, is that correct? Oh, no, it is correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's actually fine. Because the walls themselves were actually originating from here. They were actually indented. That That's right. That's right. So I, I would do this, actually. Let me get that over there. And then this right over to here. Get this little piece and link that up. Thank you. And then we're going to get a little piece over there. We're also going to do the same right over here. So make it look all nice and uniform. Very good. Kinda get a tower over here. That's great. That needs to be fixed up. Thank you. Yeah, don't you like it when you want to hyper focus on certain things and then it just turns around and bites you in the you know what? Okay. So we have the additional gate over here. This is going to be the worker and artisan hive, pretty much, for Ship this territory. Constructed. Oh, yeah, you're going to hear that three more times, by the way. I'm gonna let him do it. Ship constructed. Oh, no kidding. I don't know if another one's gonna be constructed. The people celebrate your leadership. Oh, come on! Why'd you break from it? Now you ruined the bit. Ship constructed. I hate you. Okay, I'm gonna move on from this. So, we have our main Ship gate. constructed. We have our main gateway over here, and we're kind of gonna do the exact same as what we did in the last episode with having these hyper lanes as i like to call them that are going to be going from one side to the other in zarek salon so we'll have this over to here uh you know what can we fit a police station here it's just it's not even that that's the problem yeah but i can always fit like one right over here and then one right over here okay and that'll be fine we need to have a road connection to them like so they're not... Why are they not even, dude? Oh, you know why? Because, uh, yeah, I didn't put another People rune celebrate here. your leadership. Okay, that makes sense. That's fine. So, there are additional areas. Like, we have two clay deposits out here. And this little open area, I feel like we can definitely use it for some industry if we really want to. Let's get a road connection built over to here and over out to here. And actually getting to work on the settlement is going to be a little bit interesting because I personally do not know where to start. In the last episode, I kind of figured and knew where to start because I'd already looked at it before. But you know what? I guess for all intents and purposes, it should just be right over here. So uh, I think the very first thing that we should actually build is a cathedral. 
it's not particularly even here either but it'll do you know it'll it'll be fine so let's go ahead and build the church really quick let's get that going and we need to start working on the homes in the middle we can continue on with some of the hyper lanes just a little bit so we'll have this go out to like here i'm gonna go and copy that and do the same here and we will set these to go straight forward to around here so we'll work on this side first i wonder if we can actually fit like there we go that that fits that's perfect actually let's have the marketplace right in the middle here and i'm gonna go with the ornate one i don't know why i just feel like it fits this spot a lot and we're just gonna build right around it uh please send me a fire station also fits in the middle here yeah that's pretty good let's get that there too we're also going to get a road connection built there as well and now we can build the homes i'm not going to really worry about um total beauty building here i already know i've started but Okay, see, like, here's the thing right over here. I'm going to get rid of this side of the road. People celebrate your leadership. And fix this up. And then get these guys all situated like so. Okay, so we have our first settlers right over here. Or I guess this is the makings of the Imperium's army. This is how we're doing it. Uh, we are going to need a pub. The pub can be over in this corner. We are also going to need a school later on. The school can be in this corner. So this is going to be like our uh, initial military. Um, how would they put it? Or how would it be said here exactly? Like that would be our military education. And then our universities are going to be the actual like military academies. There we go. That That's actually a good one. So that's going to be for the youth. And then these ones are going to be for the adults. That's that That works. Yeah, I like it. And we need to start bringing in some resources the that they do need. Your leadership. We could temporarily actually I... get it from here. Unless we have a spot that actually has you fish, which I don't really milestone. think we do. Wait a minute. Yeah, we should actually have on Rantium. Do we not? Uh, hold on. Why? What the heck is wrong with him now? Oh, boy. Please populate. Oh, God. Okay, at least you're there. You're, you're good. I care about you. I don't care about the other guy. Where's the warehouse? We have no fish here. We have no work clothes here. Okay, so we don't have a lot of people over in this corner, do we? Okay, we'll get to that later, I suppose. But the, uh, the main thing here is I guess I can go ahead and build some fisheries and get that started for the time being. And then we can also start working on some work clothes and all that stuff. Because I do kind of want this island to be somewhat self-sufficient. Kind of similar to what we were doing with the uh, previous build. So I'll get the road over to like here-ish. And we're essentially just going to hug this wall all the way down. I think I need to go one further. Yep. Let's go down to here. And then over. We'll go to over to like here. And then we'll link it up right here. Like so. And do the same over here. And get rid of this little bit right there. So I'm thinking this is a good spot for industry and whatnot. I'm going to move this road. Or I'm going to take it as much as I possibly can over to like this corner for now. And this is where we're going to focus on our work clothes production and all that good stuff. So let's get a warehouse immediately built. And we're going to get the other things that we need very, very quickly. Also, if anybody is currently interested what you here, master? that was difficult to say i do not know why uh i did start the anno 1800 beginner's guide if we do have any beginners in the audience definitely go check it out it would be very very beneficial for not only you but for many other people of whom are just starting to play anno 1800 i think it's a great way of starting out that's how i started out and yeah i hopefully you guys will take a look at it and I intend to do a lot of guide videos, so there's going to be a decent number of them eventually on the channel. Still put some silos here. We'll put one there. We're going to put one on this side as well. And then we're also going to start up with these fields. 
I'm just gonna put them like so. That's kind of good. I like this. It's actually filled up completely. Yep, there we go. And we need to get a road connection over to here and then loop it around. So that should be sufficient enough for workflows production for quite some time, I would I would think. And we would need to get some framework knitters going from now. And we can perfectly fit two in this little spot right here. And then go over here and build a fire station. Because we all know fire stations are very, very important. Go ahead and upgrade that from now, actually. So we should have enough, I would imagine, to get these guys started out, correct? Yep, good on fish, should be good on work clothes, and the grain is also doing pretty solid. And I already know which building type I'm going to go for here. Uh, around every single one of these gates, we definitely need to have banners, considering where we are. There's some over here. Um, I don't want to put... Well, I guess I could. I can get rid of one of the cobblestones over here and then put a banner in each one. Banner, banner. I did have banners aligning the roads. I, I can even acknowledge that it was definitely too much. Okay. If I'm acknowledging it, then it's real bad. <laughs> okay, I, I'm just saying. Like, I'm a bannerholic, and I'm going to convert as many people as possible. Because definitely, banners, I do not have a banner addiction at all. I do not. I have never in a million years ever considered having a banner addiction. You cannot prove it. Don't even look at me right now. You will never be able to, to, to prove it. Not at all. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. So we got these ones over here. We're just waiting for some grain to actually be put in and the workflow is starting out. What else can we build here? Well, the main thing here is going to be to have buildings like the school, which we already do have over there. And then like variety theaters, which I'm really happy that I built this hyper lane in the middle. That will allow me to actually put down buildings like this from now. So I can definitely put down a variety theater and link that up. I want to imagine that we would have not fantastic amounts of, you know, mail coming out of here, but I have a feeling it may in some way, shape or form be lucrative to do so. So I'm going to put down a post office right over here. That's going to start up in earnest right now and figure out how can I put this site? That's actually perfect. And over here, we're going to do these two and then just leave it like that have a road connection looping around here we're gonna build some homes over this corner Look busy people because we can definitely do so and we can even have homes out here i just chose not to for the time being so how much is it it's a minute and 18 because these guys do not give a lot of mail i i don't want to be on the rude side but they may not just be able to know how to read i'm just saying which is unfortunate. And uh, we need to figure out... Okay, so building skins for this does not matter. Over around the pub, though, I will probably end up keeping these pubs. And I changed the fertility here to hops because I will want to make some beer here for these people. Uh, I'm not sure whether I want to actually go for, like, total production chains over here because, like, I would have to also... I, I have enough canned food. Like, I can bring the canned food in. That's not a problem. But the other things, like bread, it should be relatively simple to make over here and all that good stuff. So I'm trying to think what I can do around this pub. Uh, I might just be able to put down some trees or something. Oh, uh, what's not that one? Yeah, you know what? Let's just... Um, now I'm being indecisive because I don't really know. Maybe just put some head wall around it. Yeah, that works. We can definitely do that. This side, on the other hand, is a bit different. I do want to beautify around this particular post office. And even though it is a military installation, I feel like it, it still is a place for our people. But we're going to be focusing a lot on the military aspect of things. So I need to also bring in some additional things because I do want to have some really cool columns over here. Like, I think this would really fit, honestly. So we need gold and brass. I'm put that there for now. And then 
let's see what can i put here i i guess the megaphone towers were kind of work here as well because i mean yeah it, it should work it's not necessarily meant for anarchy per se The man actually, on cue, said what I was thinking. I love this man. I actually did go ahead and get the Anarchist DLC. I was thinking about starting a personal session of my downtime. Seeing what that's all about. Because I've never uh, played around with the Anarchist missions too much. Only seen them from time to time when other people play them. Uh, let's build a... We can't build... Well, we can build a home. Let me figure out how to do these roads really quick get that built up over here and that over here we also need to head to Rantium really quick because i just remembered something uh our population has actually reached the point that we can actually expand upon the palace just a wee bit two modules which means we can finish up this side completely and i'm very very happy about that so let's get this wing over here and then we're gonna get a palace end piece right over here nice so this wing pretty much done i don't think i can well i guess i could have oh boy okay never mind i lied i lied i thought that that was the only piece i could put okay so we're almost done we need one more module and we're gonna put it right there then it'll be fully done love to see it i can't wait for this thing to actually be fully built that that'll be incredible okay back over to here how are we looking all right, they can start upgrading to workers soon. Let's actually do this. We need to get a commuter pier. That's tourists. This is engineers. Commuter pier. Spin this thing this way. Uh, do I want to put it, like, right here? I wish I could do... I put it, like, right over here. Similar to what I did with these particular fishing spots. Uh, let's put this thing right here, I guess. That's fine. And then connect it up. Because this is going to help out the uh, population of Rantium from the start. I want to see what other... I guess I could put a couple more homes over here and like over there. This should be... Oh, there one can actually be fit right over there. But do you... Are you close enough to the market to be worth... I don't think this one is. I can always put a market out here. It's not that big of a problem. Or just swap out this section for a market. Yeah, let's do that. That actually works a little bit better, doesn't it? And we'll put the ornate one again. And now I do definitely want to upgrade these guys to workers immediately. And they should be happy, I guess. I don't know. Let's get these guys all upgraded. You reach a new milestone. Can you upgrade soon? You need one more resident. Okay, well that's fine. You guys should have a lot of stuff. So, with regards to the sausages and the soap, I'm gonna just bring that in from Isengard. I think they even have enough. Look at all the ships I have. You better have enough soap in here. Okay, we definitely have the soap. And where's the sausage? We have the sausages. Yeah, I see I have a ton of canned food. I probably can bring in beer from here. You know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm gonna bring it all from here. I uh, At this point, I don't care. You are going to bring in a whole bunch of little sausages to Zerexalon. I'm going to do that there. Thank you. So you to Rantium Routes. Create route. Next one. Emerald Skies from here. You are going to bring in bread. And we're going to bring that over to Zerexalon from now. Thank you. Get to work. And then the next one, Star Shadow 5. Is our excellent. We can just click that from now, I guess. Isengard, we're going to swap the positions around. You are going to bring in some soap. Very good. Get that going. And set that for Rantium's routes. The last thing, I guess, let's use the Angel Claire 3 from the Old World. Again, we're going to have to have some beer. Now, hopefully, it's not going to mess up too much, but if it does, I don't mind making it here. That's not a problem. There's also a little island in the New World that I wanted to show to everyone. It's right here. Minerva. Minerva has five oil fields, and they're pretty close to one another. 
So what I'm actually considering doing, where's the oil? Or I guess I can use the fuel. They all can probably fit if I move this. Well, I mean, I don't I don't need to necessarily move that. I can move one oil deposit. I think that'll be fine. So I'm gonna put that right over there. Let's uh see if I can do that really quick. Move oil spring. Yep. So we're gonna move this oil spring closer to the actual refinery over here. And then Minerva is gonna be another little spot that's gonna deliver oil towards uh, Zerexalon because they're gonna need it. And we have all these guys working, so we just need to get back over to here. Fantastic. Upgrade these guys, thank you. And as for building skins, I know I tried this on Adifex once, and I did quite like it. Uh, I'm really keen on this brick. Why? Well, I feel like it's the most soldiery. Yeah, I feel it's definitely the most soldiery of all of them. So... Let's do this. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Why did you change? Really? Hello? Oh, because I did, that in fact did change. <laughs> I'm blind. Okay. Now we'll, well, we'll fix it. There we go. We got it done. Get that over to there. And then that guy over there, they can just be changed easily yeah i i really like the the brick style over here now if i really want to be crazier than i normally am i can go and fix the positions of these guys so they all have a uniform look kind of yeah see that's that's a little bit better to my eyes let me fix a couple more of them i don't believe the artisan homes have a similar uh, structure to them but like right in the front here, I don't intend on changing these guys out to be artisans. These ones are going to be my workers for the long term. Digs is for the kids. More I know, I know. Relax. Get that one. Get this one. This one over here. I've actually seen a couple people in my Discord uh, do this as well. Keep all the homes actually looking like relatively uniform. Yeah, there we go. That's for all of them. I feel like I'm slowly but surely turning into Gasparov and it's starting to scare me. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade. These guys weren't you upgrading. That's a problem. Alright, they're not close to a pub, which is a bit of a problem. But I think I can just go ahead and probably plop one down here soon enough. Or maybe I can get rid of these guys and just put it down there. Yeah, let's just do that. Perfect. So we'll have the pub there. We'll have a road connection from here. We'll have one in the back right over here. Looking good. Looking fantastic. So in this corner, I definitely want to put down a trade union. And I'm going to put it right over here because I want to have electricity to these things. So they'll be working a lot faster. Let's go ahead and build them up. I need to also put a warehouse right over here somewhere. So that'll be pretty good. So they're going to deliver into that. I don't think I can actually put down a decent lumberjack hut just for the heck of it. Can I? No, I can't. I can put some additional homes if I really wanted to out here. Because we are still kind of close to the... Uh, to the marketplace so i don't mind doing this at all let's get a road connection around can't put anything in here which is a little bit unfortunate it is what it is how far can you go i want to imagine i can build some over here have uh, reflex the time jesus can i just yeet him off a cliff he's okay now this is this is concerning okay <laughs> let's if just you think this is best who am I to protest? Yeah, well, I mean, I never really asked for your opinion to begin with. Anything but... else? Then I'll send it out. Yep, yeah, thank you. Much appreciated. You gained an influence bonus. So you guys are probably far away from the pub, aren't you? You're getting there, so I guess I might as well give you guys another pub over here. Is that even possible? Mm, not particularly. I guess maybe I could have put it over here. Is there any room? Well, whatever. If, if you're not that close to it, you're you're still having some issues. Like, I don't know. Deal with it. 
walk a little bit more and try to find a spot that you can go get a drink. Let's get some over there. Oh, one little bit came out over here. So this is just beyond the walls, I, I would imagine. Uh, let's go ahead and get some of those right over here. That'll look pretty nice. I want to extend the road over to here. That'll be cool as well. Uh, and over here, I want the statue, like, right here. Okay. I need a couple of these, honestly. And then the cool thing here is I can just go over to, like, the city wall thing really quick. Put this down, and then swap it to a tower. And that should look pretty cool. So, like, these are our additional watchtowers. Put one here, put one here, and I think they'll look nice. Build that up, and then build this up right here. Looking good. So we have some solitary towers right over here. We have our farmers over here that will get upgraded soon enough. You guys seem to be pretty good. Yeah, it's actually, it's going to help because later on, the artisan workforce, see, I'm thinking about this in the long term. Like, I don't know whether I want to actually keep a big section like this in Rantium for artisans at all. It does look nice, don't get me wrong, but there are two things I could possibly do here. The first one is demolish this entire thing and instead expand the campus so we won't be cutting too much further over here and we'd be able to go into here. And then the second one here, just upgrade them all to, like, engineers. In this gentle bow, am I quite content? Oh, great. I didn't want to... Do that. Okay, the, this is the brick skin. I'm just gonna check them out really quick. That's definitely not military side. That's the inverted. The inverted one's not bad. That's the old residence, and I'm kind of feeling that one. Obviously, we don't want to go for this one. Yeah, I, I have a feeling it's a toss-up between the inverted and the old residence. I, I'm digging the inverted, actually. Life, okay, shush. Me? I don't really care. The other thing is, for some reason, I don't know, like, I did not do this at all, but I can probably, like, get coffee and rum production over here just as is, and I will not have to worry about anything potentially happening at all with regards to rum over here. You know what I mean? So, we're not delivering the schnapps to them, but they are pretty happy. Plus 22. So we got some soap now. That'll go up now, too. We're just waiting on the bread, which is right there. And then one of these, that's beer. And that's more construction materials. So eventually, we're going to get rid of this stuff, too. I think what I want to do is over here probably build a little Docklands territory. So we'll have this be, like, right here. Does build the attractiveness a little bit, but I didn't really... <laughs> I wasn't counting on that happening. Let's uh, grab a piece. Actually, you know, let's grab this first. Let's get all of this. Figure out where the heck I want to put this thing. Because this is going to be the centerpiece, right? Yeah, let's put this here. Fix up these towers. And then we're going to grab another section of the wall over here, which is longer. And we're just going to bring it over to this rock face to start off. And then over here, we're going to have to place in the right spot and then link it up to the mountain right over here. That kind of looks weird. I don't particularly like it. That makes more sense. There we go. This one can also be changed, I guess. Let's, uh, let's work on that a little bit. No, don't do that to me. I forbid it. Let's go from here over to there. Yeah, that's better. That looks a little bit more... natural, I guess. It's probably the best word I'm, I'm saying in this particular situation. Get the towers back. With towers along this little river stream what have you and then build this section up as well thank you the same over here 
and over here and over in this corner wonderful so this is going to be our dock lands i think we're going to actually have to link it up with the roads and whatnot so let's go ahead and do just that it's probably gonna have to go all the way down to there actually to fix this up yeah it's quite crazy that the channel is actually reaching a thousand subscribers and i didn't think this it was gonna is happen nothing short of a major discovery is it is it like a, a real discovery or are you just saying that to make me feel better okay so we got that linked up that's looking pretty good we can start some yeah this is definitely a residual of the uh, the mods which kind of sucks i'm gonna go ahead and increase the storage capacity here i can't actually put the modules like that why whatever put three on that side three on this side looking good and i want some export offices to start so this isn't too bad the ones coming in from isengard will probably make it to this dockland before they actually get over to that side and that's honestly preferable considering how many ships i actually have waiting here to bring in more construction materials so i'm quite content with that being changed later on okay let's get these guys upgraded to workers as well and let me actually go ahead and see if i can paint over all of them did that not oh dang it i did the same thing over again there we go now i fixed it there we go i keep pressing alt by accident i meant to press shift but i'm pressing alt it is my mistake i i don't I, I'm, I'm the boomer okay I, I have to make mistakes when it comes to keybinds you all know this it's part of part of who i am yeah, let's get that changed out uh you don't have a different skin do you no you don't not too bad so right now it's a pretty bustling little city or fortress city i guess in the front here as far as cosmetics People celebrate your leadership uh that would not work but what would work is the obelisk and i'm kind of digging it i am kind of digging it alternatively i can have nadaski's column and I think this one might work a little bit better on the left and the right. And then we can definitely have... Or maybe... No, that does not work there. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's a weird spot. A victory arch might, though. I might actually consider a victory arch over here and here. Yeah, we'll put two over here. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go with the obelisk. We'll have the obelisk over here. And that'll be pretty good. Once we actually get the materials to build all those, it'll look pretty nice, I think. That's actually a really regal entrance to a fortress, in my humble opinion. Now, as far as beautification out here is concerned, we need to honestly stick to the whole military aspect. So we can have some of these items be dotted around and crates even though it's not industrial it kind of still makes sense to me uh we can have just some concrete paving we can have a little low hanging wall over here to like here we can also do something similar like right here okay we can probably have a shed back over there. Where is that cobblestone? It was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, cobblestone road over to there. A little bit to that and to that. Over here, we can put down the other stuff. So definitely some Imperium banners would do much for this little section. Put one there and one here. I'll spin this around facing this direction. And we'll just finish it up like this. Very simple parks. Don't have to be too elaborate. Uh, maybe I'll actually put cobblestone over this there. This city is a magnet for genius. Oh! Well. Really? Hmm. I could actually use that guy over here. 
I'm thinking an airport being placed in the front here is actually going to be kind of cool, though. Uh, where is the airport? It's right here. Airship platform. Yeah, like right in the front. I feel this would be really, really cool. Oh, this fits perfectly. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to do this right here. And then we're going to need the modules, correct? So we'll have the airmail sorting be right over here. And then the item transfer depot be right over here. Perfect. And we'll get a road connection going around this. That actually looks really solid. I really like that. Okay, so that dude, he was on Amaryllis, correct? Uh, where are you at, though? Doc Dr. Salvador. Him, the mineralogist. What are you good for? Gold mine. Building now processes industrial lubricant. You gain helium. Cool. I'm not sure what to do with the front here. I'm actually kind of content with leaving it kind of open-ish. Let's see. Get that there. That's actually... That looks quite nice in the corner. And over here. Very, very, very nice. Let's get that one upgraded at least once. Did we get this done? Or is he still, like working on it i think he's done to boldly tread where none have trod before okay so i'm going to assume you're done yep you are okay i'm gonna put that one right here perfect so minerva is probably going to be a chief oil source for xerexalon and that'll be pretty cool that way we can actually have some good ships come out of here. And I don't mind having like an industrial quarter over here. Like actual industrial quarter for um, like steel and some... Well, I mean, we already do have a bunch of like the steam motors over here. So if I need to grab some, I can just go over here. They're always full up now. And I can even trade elevators with uh, Zerexalon to get materials. You know what? I'm actually going to do just that. Let me get the Razor Clamp 5 from Alonzo's Might... We're going to start trading some elevators over to Xerexalon. And we're going to set that for Rantium Routes. Keep it just like that. Are you still... You don't have anything? Good to know. It's running fine, so... And I have backups, so that's a good thing as well. Well, it just got dark in my room all of a sudden. That was creepy. Let's go ahead and upgrade all these guys. Look, I'm going to do it right, okay? I'm going to the Skin Painter. And I'm holding shift, and I'm going to town. Boom. Perfect. Never was concerned. Ever. Plenty to get stuck into. Uh, let's fix all the home's positions. A fire broke out. Oh, God. Please, please don't tell her. Oh, God. Please, for the love of God, do not tell her. Do I even have a... Oh, no. Oh, God. Where do I put a fire station? Mm -mm -mm. Don't let her know. Okay, you know what? We're, we're just going to put two for the time being because <laughs> that blew up and it's actually causing some of these skyscrapers to catch on fire. It, it's either like I, I'm over here thinking like this one needs to explode to make this one catch on fire. No, this thing has exploded twice, by the way. This one has just recently exploded and these things are on fire. Thumbs up. Okay, now I got to fix all these ones. Get that done. Get this one. That one's good. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Okay. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah, that really does bring the soldier appeal. I think. Uh, as far as the... Like, we won't need a university over in this corner. So, technically, I built this for no reason. Now that I think about it. Well, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I do want to build, like, some sort of park in between in this hyper lane. And I think it'll look relatively nice-ish. I... I think it would it really look nice, too. Hold on. Like, even more so than before. I'll put the entrances where... the roads are, technically. Let's go ahead and... Put some fencing around. Oh, we would have to put like one here too. Let's go ahead and get these over here and over here. And then I think I'm just going to end it off 
right here. Attractiveness increase. Love to see it. And then this will be the end of the actual lane. Because at this point, we won't be able to build anything on the left side. We can build on the right, and that's totally fine. And now we're going to make this an entire park. Let's see. Unfortunately, this is not even. I can have parks or like gazebo plazas like this, potentially. Yeah, let's go ahead and put like this one down over here. And on the opposite side, I'm going to have a fountain plaza. Have something like that. In the middle, I definitely wish I could have had... Oh, wait a minute. I have really good ornaments right over here. I know the Nadaski's um, column is not going to fit in here. Where the heck is it, man? Every time. Okay, what about this? No, why would that ever fit anywhere that I want to build? Why? It, it, never. Never has it ever done so. Never will it ever. I think this is pretty in the middle here. Yeah. What would have happened if I put Nadaski's column down? Yeah, see, that's the problem. It's it's in, not even. Yeah, it's not even. Okay, so then what I'll do is I'm going to change the shade of the grass. I think that made it darker. I don't know if it did. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Where's Amaryllis at? Do me a favor. The That's not working. Has been vanquished. Oh, God bless. We're going to build this here, this here. Or maybe I can do it, like, checkered this way. Yeah, that might actually be better. Give me a second. Yeah, this is going to be better. That way we'll be able to see it. Some like this. Oh, oh yeah, okay. It's not an actual like skyscraper that's in ruins. It's just literally a mine. Ooh. The people celebrate your leadership. But I'm counting on everyone's discretion because I quite frankly do not want to sleep on the couch. Thank you very much. Have a great day. That actually is not in the middle, but I'm not gonna care about it anymore. Uh where is this thing? Please build that back up. Thank you. Looking pretty good. So Zerexalon is coming along nicely, I think. I want to put this mineralogist in here uh, because I definitely like the extra goods. It'll they'll work slower though. For the boss. But it's not going to be that much of a problem when I actually put like a dude with electricity in here. That's going to be pretty pretty good. Oh, you know what I can do? We can actually go ahead and I think it's in the investors. We can probably put down a local department. Yeah, we can put down a local department right here. And then what policy should we use? Public tech for buildings. Um, minus 20% need for drinks. Not bad. Plus three attractiveness for artisan and engineers. We're not really focusing on the power plants here. Plus five from all public services. Oh, well, that'll be pretty strong. Yeah, let's do the Social Warfare Act. That's plus 47 for workers. Scooped us out of the gutter, you did. Dang, it's for each one? Oh, damn. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I think, um, I think we definitely made the right call doing this, that's for sure. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this whole section built up over here because we want to start working on this side now and get this built as well. It's not exactly even. Why? Oh, because of the pub. Okay, whatever. That's fine. So we got a second section People of homes actually building. Your leadership. Populating over here. We have a fire station in the middle. It'll get everywhere, but... I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get rid of these two. Let's go ahead and put down a fire station right over here. That'll look pretty nice. As for basic beautification, I'm just going to put mature trees along this side. 
Uh, back here I might do like Bright Harvest type ornaments and whatnot. I think that'll look pretty cool as well. This is natural beauty and I just want to keep that. This house is kind of solitary, but it's whatever. Yep, very nice. I think we're doing a great job. You know what? That that's fine. I I think it it'll be okay where it's at. If anything, I could probably just like here, get rid of this one and then get rid of this one, and then go over to this. We can have one over here and one over here. Yeah. So that makes a little bit more sense. There we go. I can dig it. I can dig it. We're going to wait for these guys to upgrade. They do have both of the services they require. And they are very happy. So they're plus 29. They just don't have schnapps. And to be perfectly honest with you, I could care less if they have schnapps or not. Now, you, sir, are scaring me a lot. Uh, yeah, let's just do something like this. We don't have enough room to put another module down over there. But what I would like to do is actually have some piers. Uh, I'll put one pier over here and another pier over here. Running out of resources, but these guys are bringing in materials as well. So there's multiple different areas that we are actually gaining materials from and having a dock lands over here to just bring stuff from uh, Isengard is actually going to be pretty powerful. I think the last section that we need to pull a wall in is going to be over here. And I'm not certain whether I want to put it all the way back over here or over here. That's why I haven't built it yet. I have to eyeball it enough and just like, like, hmm. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. Great. Love to hear it. put some more homes over in this corner oh that didn't really work out as intended i think this will probably be better let's get this one this one and then this one i'll fix up the road here in a minute let's get that to here this to here this over to here and this over to here so from here, I guess I can actually build a bridge across. No, it does not want to cooperate. Okay, from here, you want to build a bridge across. Okay, perfect. We can actually do something like that. That's not too bad. Yeah, pretty good. I think over here, we'll definitely need to build another school. We can put the school kind of like in this little cubby corner. Build a road connection to it, like so. They'll be happy about it. I want to... Do you guys have the school need all the way back here? Oh, yeah, you do. That's really good, actually. I like that quite a bit. There's not a really good-looking style of... Wait a minute. You could turn these things into pirate shacks as well? <laughs> what the heck, man? Are you serious? That is the derpiest thing I've ever seen. Outstanding. Outstanding. We don't have a tourist mooring over here, and I quite frankly don't care to put one. Let's get a road connection around this behemoth. And then in front of it, I think what we should do. Well, we're we're definitely gonna have to put down. No, that's I was correct on the first first click let's uh put down imperium banners in the front and the back equal on both sides please and i will go ahead and put down these columns for now probably i'll swap them out with the other version and we're just gonna finish it up they look all nice and pretty there we go so we have our administration right over here and it's, in fact, in a really good spot, I think. Yeah, it, it's very, very much in a good spot. I'm trying to see what other services these guys could utilize. Uh, I mean, I can, for all intents and purposes, provide them with a town hall in the middle here. I have a feeling it would actually be pretty powerful. Thing is, right, I don't really care to optimize workers and... Uh, worker tier. 
okay i prefer optimizing from artisan upward i think that is where the optimal part is so let's actually go ahead and give them local mail that's going to be pretty good we're going to do the same with the farmers and we would actually have to get another post office somewhere this will overlap them this would be okay ish i think this is a better spot because we're going to build more to the right let's go ahead and put that down right over there and we're going People to celebrate your leadership finish that all up i do want to get this side done though for sure let me blueprint this actually i wonder if this will actually be enough for this side it'll be a little bit too much so like this will be okay i i kind of like this yeah, we're, we're going to do this. I like this. So I'll have a double road over here, but it actually links up perfectly. Build them all up. We're waiting for these guys to upgrade. I'm also waiting for some more materials to come in. But while that's happening, I think I have my elevators in here. Uh, where are my elevators? So the first thing we're going to get is fish. The second thing we're going to be getting is... Work clothes, so we don't need to make these things here anymore. We do not need this much, so like 10 for each would probably suffice. 10 and 10. I uh, don't really care about the canned food, but I can definitely utilize this. Uh, you know what? For the heck of it, let's see how high we can get these guys. Not like high, high. Uh, maybe we do 20. I don't know what the island storage capacity here is right now. Oh, it is 1,200. Okay, that's not bad. So, I do want to see how high we can get them as far as their population happiness is concerned. That's at 127%. How are you doing? 286? Not bad, dude. Yeah, okay, so work close is going down now. Okay, that's fine. When are you actually showing up? Because that's a really, really important thing to know. In 18 minutes. Okay. So right now, uh, we can't upgrade anything because the work close is going down. But when I actually start importing it, then I'm just going to get rid of this little complex over here. I'm also probably going to get rid of these fisheries in the front here because I just I don't need them anymore and go from there. I might start importing some coal so we can get some furnaces in the back here. We have three iron deposits and I definitely want to go and dot those out right now. This city is a magnet for genius. You know what? I should actually utilize that constable lady for Zerexalon. So I can upgrade these police headquarters to uh, advance and not actually have to deal with their uh, ridiculous demands or whatnot. Would a trade union actually fit in the middle here evenly? It wouldn't, but I'm actually not opposed to that happening. Or is it a trade union or is it a town hall? I think it's a town hall that she needs. Let me just find a town hall and try to put her in one. Yeah, so she's town hall. Okay, so instead of police equipment, the, the building process is advanced weapons. So I'd rather bring in the advanced weapons and then actually produce the other thing. Why? Because I haven't done it and I'm being lazy about it. But yeah, apart from that, I'm actually quite excited about Xerxalon now. We need to bring in a lot of brass. We also need to bring in a lot of gold. And that way we can get these things upgraded. I think the Navara is doing absolutely nothing at the moment. So can you head over to Rantium for me, please? I was actually considering putting some more piers around this side so they don't have this issue constantly happening. Because they're not always going over here to this Docklands territory, which is a bummer. But I feel like if we were to put some over here, that would be kind of cool. And then what are we looking at for our global population? We're currently sitting at 400,000. Uh, did I potentially get some more? No? Okay. How far does it go? We are up to here. That's as far as the palace administration currently goes. So all the way up here for the most part. It hasn't reached the back here quite yet. But we are doing our best to get as much of Rantium's territory under the influence of that palace as quickly as possible and i think it's doable when we continue building some more settlements when we continue upgrading a lot of rantium itself 
then we'll see more of those modules actually come into play and we'll be able to definitely reach those uh, particular heights. Yeah, I, I really like this. Okay, so I got to make a decision right now based off of this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a basic entrance over here with this pack. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do the archway. I think one of the hyperlinks coming forward will not be the end of the world. I think this one is fine. Let's get a hyperlink going through here and down to here and over to like here-ish. Yep. And then I will put this archway in. Let's get this all situated. Oh, don't come on, man. Please. I'm begging you. Okay, there we go. Really? Really? Okay, we're good. Get this thing upgraded to a tower. Get this thing upgraded to a tower. And this. And back here. Okay. I might consider putting one in the middle there. I have to think about it. But yeah. This is a very good start for Xerxalon. I definitely am very, very bummed out that the military mod did that. I know that there are going to be some uh, some people in the comments that are going to tell me what I probably did wrong with it, and I encourage that, uh, mostly because I definitely, in the future, we will be doing the modded playthrough, oh, so thrilling. I do need to know personage has arrived. what might potentially happen. I do backups, I do make backups of every single save that I have, so that's, that's besides the point. Just, uh, anything as far as like what future mods might potentially do and whatnot please let me know i don't think the game session is screwed by any means i think we're okay it's just those guys are not popping up they just have like their skeletons kind of shown their shadows really anyway so this is the end for this episode hope you guys enjoyed it thank you all for being here as always please comment subscribe like i did that completely wrong this time i don't know why Thank you all for being here as usual, and I will catch you on the next episode, my Rantans.